Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, just here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today's the day we're going to kick the pigs out to pasture today. So uh, let's get this fencer uh, charger unplugged so we don't get the fire shocked out of us and uh, get her ready to go and double check the lines and make sure she's charging and uh, so we can't get the pigs uh, out of the training pen. All right, got that unplugged so we won't get the fire shocked out of us. All right, folks, I got the power, well, the main power line off the training pin and hooked up to the paddock hot wire fence. So we'll let's go plug the charger back in, get the fence charger, make sure she's popping like she should, and then we'll cut them loose. Folks, I think you see that right there. We're hitting 7,000 votes, so she's popping hot. So let's open the gate and turn them out and see what they do and watch them for a bit. All right, folks, get the gate open. But I do, I got some food scraps in my truck. I'm going to bring out here for them to help them uh, ease them on out. So uh, let me go grab that real quick. All right. All right, folks. All three are out now. They're all out checking their perimeters. I actually got a one acre, one acre paddock fenced off in these woods here and, uh, and then I got divided, a dividing line down the middle. So uh, I swap them back and I rotate on a half an acre. About every month I rotate them, acre to half acre to half acre. So that fence is hot. My dog, Maple, she just got popped by it. So she's popping hot. But I had them in that training pen for a um, little over a month. So they're pretty well trained to that hot wire. So I'd never, ever do put a uh, hot wire across my gate openers where I want hogs to go through. I either uh, power around it or under it or just don't even cross it because I just don't want them to have that psychological barrier uh, thinking that that gate is hot ever. So, uh, But while they're out here in these paddocks, I will continue feeding them in this training pen and they'll be getting water in this training pen so i got an alleyway set up so they will always come back to feed in the training pen and get their water in a training pen so when it's time to get them loaded up and take them back to the uh, processor uh it's it's easy going there's the food scraps i threw out for them try to get them out of the gate but uh they came on out before i even got the food scraps uh to them so we're at the they're after them food scraps now that's a treat for them, boys. They love those food scraps. So if I've only had these pigs for one, one roughly one month, a little over one month, just a month and month and three days. They're growing good. These three pigs right here. This is my second batch of pigs to raise, and uh, I come to really enjoy raising pigs. They're, it's a delight, and they have a personality on them. They're always happy to see you. I guess because they know they're getting fed, or you bring them some good food scraps. But they're one of my with goats are probably my second favorite things to to have on the homestead or a farm. They're walking their boundaries. See. Uh, where they got, where they're able to go. They're a little scared of that little utility trailer there. It's kind of cracking me up. They're pretty, they ain't touched that fence yet. They're pretty well trained to it. They know it'll pop them hot. That's one thing about, about electric fences. Uh, you always got to check them. They don't always stay hot. Like every day I come up to feed, I'll have to put the, the tester on it and I'll walk the fence line every day. Except for the days of my work, but every day I walk the, walk the fence line and test it, make sure it's uh, popping like it should. I'll probably come and check on this night tonight. Um, supposed to have some pretty good storms come through Northwest Arkansas possible tornadoes but uh they got access to shelter tonight so uh 
they should be fine. Uh, like I said, I'm off tomorrow. I don't go back to work till Wednesday. So I'll be back up for sure tomorrow to check, make sure they're still in where they're supposed to be. But I tell you what, pigs are pretty stinking smart and you get them trained to that, uh, you get them trained to that electric fence, they respect it. So uh, they'll still test every once in a while just to make sure <coughs> they'll pop them. But uh, y'all have a great day and God bless y'all. We'll catch you on the next one, folks.